Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Today we'll test if we can make a Stretch Armstrong float like a balloon by filling it with helium. We filled a Stretch Armstrong with air and then we filled him with water. And a lot of you wanted to see us fill a Stretch Armstrong with helium. So today we're going to try to do that. Sounds like a great idea, honestly. Here's the basic idea. Lots of you wanted to see if we could fill a Stretch Armstrong with helium to make him float. We're gonna try that as well as freezing a Stretch Armstrong skin in liquid nitrogen to see what it does to it. Before we get to that, we quickly need to talk about today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. Guys, Raid Shadow Legends has a lot of gameplay to offer, and there's so much about this game that we love. The fact that we can go on our own adventures and battles in the campaign, but then also jump into a PvP arena makes the game so versatile. It constantly delivers a new fun playing experience. Upgrading my champions, the PvP battles, figuring out a team build for a clan boss or a dungeon, all of it. The various levels and modes of this game are what really kept me interested. Now it is the holiday season and Raid Shadow Legends is in a giving mood. They just released the biggest update ever. Within this new update is the Doom Tower, 120 floors of secret challenge rooms and 12 epic bosses to fight against. The Raid team is also spreading holiday cheer by giving away lots of free goodies and releasing 14 new champions. And we've got three of them here by the tree. Sir Nicholas, Rain Beast, and Frostbringer. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description. And if you are a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in-game. New players can find their rewards here. So click the link below to download the game now. So we have this new Stretch Armstrong. Um, along with this one, we have a Stretch Armstrong that, frankly, we don't know what we did with it or what happened to it before it got to us, but something about the rubber and the goo inside has gone terribly wrong. Yeah, he's not really all that stretchy anymore as he is just breaking. We broke his foot off. Not really sure what happened to it. This one is a classic okay. functioning, stretchy Mr. Plastic. This one, we're going to try to drain all of his goo out and then fill him with helium mm -hmm. and see if that will actually make him float. Now, we do have an empty Stretch Armstrong skin here um, as an example of about what we're going for after we've thoroughly cleaned out all his goo. So it is very stretchy, mm -hmm. but it just pops back into place instantly instead of slowly, like when he's still full of the goo. First step is to drain the goo out of him. And I think we had best success by just microwaving him yep. until all of it heats up, becomes very, very liquid and runny, and then you can just pour it out. take a cut somewhere. We'll probably cut off part of his foot and yeah, pour out the goo. So our strategy had... of microwaving worked in the past, but this time, not so much. Okay, after our microwave mishap, I just decided to soak stretch in some hot water and all the corn syrup is not like completely runny, but as you can see, it bounces back very quickly. So we're just going to cut off part of his foot, squeeze as much out as we can, and then we'll wash him out to get the rest of it. This is the goal. Helium balloon, but balloons weigh a lot less than a Stretch Armstrong. Now, Stretch Armstrong should also hold a lot more helium than this size true. of balloon. That is true. But he wouldn't hold more helium than say, this size of balloon and this size of balloon still weighs a lot less than Stretch Armstrong. So we're gonna have to see how well this works. Oh, leak at the ah, neck! Ah, no! Oh. Let's just take that opportunity to remove okay. the head. Should we try and put the spigot on the head or are we going to try and just... Uh, I think that the foot will be easier to tie That's off when he's true. inflated. So let's try and tie off the head now. Neck is removed, I'm going to try and tie that off, but first I'm going to wash it and my hands because they're so sticky, then I'll try and tie it off. All right. My knot didn't hold. That's very disappointing. He's leaking from where his head used to be. Ah, shove, fill it up with glue and tie it tighter. <laughs> try this again. All right, third time's a charm. No! My forward all escapes. Breathe it in, breathe it in. We don't want to waste it! This is how I lost a coworker. Two catch, catch points. Fingers crossed. We'll give it a try. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's letting go with the, the first rubber band seal has scooted up to meet the second rubber band seal. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, it pulled out. No! Oh, it's letting go more. I can't, I can't, I can't stop it. I'm sorry. I really thought that was going to work. <laughs> it worked more. We got more with that time. All right, so our newest thought is that if we can glue the head opening closed, because I couldn't hold it on the nozzle, it just stretched out of my hands. If we glue it and then maybe also tie it. So we're gonna try E6000, which is supposed to be a latex base, and we're gonna glue it and then clamp it and let it sit. It says full strength maybe after 72 hours. So we're gonna let it sit for 72 hours and really try and get like a nice, good glued up seal and hopefully it will hold. <sighs> we got our guy all glued up at the neck. It's clamped over the weekend. There's a lot of glue in there. So much glue. We hope it's enough to seal it. I suspect it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna blow up big and it's just gonna leak out some tiny spot or it's just gonna just peel that glue right off because it Maybe. probably sticks to this rubber but it probably just doesn't stick to the really, really stretched out rubber. There's no way this glue stretches as much as the rubber does. It is a stretchy glue. It's a latex glue, so it's it has a better chance of working. It's E6000, yeah, but... it's not but epoxy or something yeah. solid, see, rigid. It, you can see it stretch. Some amount of stretch. Some. I'm being very gentle because... But Stretch Armstrong is Stretch Armstrong, and this yeah. is not stretch glue. Okay. Shall we? Let's see how far we get before it leaks. <laughs> I don't feel any leaking. It's good. I think it's going to happen all at once. I think it's just going to like... Not I, as a pop, just a... I, if it pops, I'm going to be... Well, it would be hilarious. I would prefer it if it did not. Oh, oh. It is officially leaking now. No! There is... Stretch Armstrong, come on! You were doing so good! How buoyant is he? Here, hang on. Uh, I'll hold my finger on this hole for a second. Uh -huh. Can you tie this foot off, maybe? No. 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 I think the next idea is to see how many balloons it takes to lift a Stretch Armstrong skin. It's really weird to try and uh, breathe helium from a decapitated creature's neck. Yeah. <laughs> it should be weird. <laughs> Not something you say every day. <laughs> Let's take a look at our fail point. So the glue itself did start to come off the latex. So even though it's a latex based glue, it's not made to bond quite the same because as Nate was saying, Stretch Armstrong is much stretchier. So this glue is just peeling off now, now that we have that fail point. So that's kind of what was happening is it peeled away and popped that hole right through it. Let Three, her drop. Two, one. Yes! Woo! That's what it takes. <laughs> this many balloons, apparently, to lift a headless, drained, washed I'm out. I'm taking him outside. With no foot, Stretch Armstrong. So I have a balloon, and I'm concerned because 10 feet away, Nate has a blowgun. This is an emergency <laughs> retrieval system in case you accidentally let him go. Oh no, here we go! <laughs> no, I was kidding, I was kidding. Well, if he gets away from you, I'm taking it down. Let's see, how many balloons do you have to pop to get him down now, ready? I'm, I'm gonna run. Like, I'm not gonna let him go fully. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna do this, step back, and then after you shot once, I'm gonna step back in and grab it. Okay, him. one shot may take out one balloon, it may take out 12, I don't know. Okay, ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Still not? Get him! You gotta get him! <laughs> oh. He escaped. Oh, I think actually he, he would get away. I thought with like the first shot would take all the balloons down. What do we do now? Um follow? We gotta go! We gotta go get him! Now he's going up! If you find this Stretch Armstrong, you send it back to us and we will sign it and send it back to you.
Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Use our link in the description, and if you are a new player, you'll get a free champion, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in-game. We'll see you in the arenas. Guys, we really hope that's not all after this video. If you'd like to see more content, hit this box to check out our other most recent videos, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Talk to you then.